This video outlines in short the task of the validation of the application. It shows how the reporting member state or RMS creates an RFI associated to the considerations of the member states concerned or MSCs. How the RMS and the MSCs can assess the responded RFI. And how the RMS issues its final decision regarding the validation. After the consolidation of the considerations related to the validation of the application and if it has been decided that an RFI is needed. In the RMS workspace, click on the plus RFI button to create it. In the pop-up form on the left side, select which consolidated considerations will be attached to your RFI and need to be addressed by the sponsor. Any considerations that were not included during consolidation cannot be selected. On the right side, insert the due date in the respective field. In the fields below, fill in the reason and add any documents if needed. Once you finish with the details, click on the submit button. A message on the top right screen appears informing you that the RFI has been submitted. Below the considerations, you may see the submitted RFI and its status. You can expand it to see the full details. Once the sponsor responds to the RFI, the MSCs receive a relevant alert in the Notices and Alerts tab. View the RFI response and assess it by clicking on the alert or using the relevant task in the Tasks tab. Click on the Expand All drop-down and in the space for the RFI, you may view any attached documents and dedicated fields that sponsors users can use to address each consideration. For each consideration, there is dedicated space for discussion among the MSCs. Insert your comments regarding the sponsor's response to the RFI and click on the Share Comment button once you finish. The inserted comments will be visible to the other MSCs and they can also comment on them accordingly. If the member states and the RMS decide that the response to the RFI is not sufficient, a follow-up RFI asking for additional information can be raised by the RMS. If the response satisfies all the MSCs, then the RMS proceeds with the task of submitting the validation decision. To perform the task, use the drop-down menus to indicate whether the dossier is complete and is in scope. In case you consider the dossier incomplete or out of scope, you need to indicate the sections where issues have been identified, while additional space for comments is provided. After selecting the appropriate values, click on the Complete button. On the top right corner, a message informs you that the task is run in the background. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on the Submit Validation Decision task, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.